be more active and keep running and pushing safe on your way. How will Booth regret that? Well, uh, well, I mean, I don't think that he'll be too happy about himself. Um, just as far as like how he may have let that happen. I mean, he was so kind of taken in by what was going on at the, at the season finale of it all that he found himself a bit hyper and so focused on just trying to to make things right. And and he let that whole thing slip away by not seeing what was really actually happening between her and uh, Bones uh, and Max. So, I mean, I don't think like anger. I, I think he's just... He'll be he'll self-examine himself as a character, and he'll be depressed and frustrated, and that'll all come out as the season begins and unfolds. And those emotions will affect their relationship as well as uh, make it stronger. So we'll see what how it all unfolds. Kind of tear them down and build them back up. Sure. Are there any plans to do under, an undercover episode, something where you get to ride a horse? I would love that. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, Sure. I mean, I've always, I, we've always embraced the whole undercover thing. I think that with it, our relationship uh, and how we've unfolded it with the seasons and how the two of them are so give and take that they really enjoy that. And when they go into cover, we just created this whole small like well, people like to see them <laughs> do these very things. Good. Yeah. So Buck and Wanda will be back. I'm sure. Yay. Whether it's <laughs> on a horse or I heard like dancing. I guess ballroom dancing. I don't know. <laughs> it's always fun to see them that do that kind of stuff. What is his attitude toward like will he get a job and is he involved with the Jeffersonian at all or is it very much he involved? I think he'll be really interrogated by the bureau and like he's I uh, the um, at the end of this of the la of the cliffhanger with the season when he was dealing with his other fellow FBI guy. I mean, we'll see him back. Reed will come back in the first episode. Huh? I don't like him, by the way. You don't like him? <laughs> oh, he's so great. <laughs> I think he's crooked. You think he's crooked? Well, that's cool. That means I directed him in a good way, I guess. Then I, he, he was doing what I was telling him to do, so maybe that's good or bad. I don't know. I think Reed will be very interrogating and trying to find out what really went down, trying to get answers to questions. I think Booth will just be like, you know, those, here's all the evidence. I'm not, I don't have to say anything. And I think he'll take hands. He'll, he'll go out and find her. I think Booth's the kind of guy that will, won't rely too much on the paper filing of life. He just doesn't work well with that. He fumbles too much. So any more family? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I've always wanted to see Booth's mom, so and hopefully that'll. Parker is Parker. He's living in Europe, I guess. <laughs> Jessica Capshaw is on another show, so I don't know. It's some magic of television. Hey, she might die. <laughs> yeah. Then you get both of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You get her back. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. <laughs> That's so very possible. I was really oh, sorry. Okay, so since you're doing a lot of directing now, what sort of challenges do you find that are different from directing than just from acting in the show? Uh, well, it's hard to to do both. It's it's just you you wear these two hats and you're in a, you're in a scene, you're out of a scene, you're changing. It's 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 manic and. Um, you have to really rely on a really strong hand, right person. Who I have on the show is Ian Toyn, another executive producer director who I really respect highly. And we both have the same sense of style and understanding of camera and relationship, so that helps. But every time I do it, I say I don't want to do it again <laughs> because it's so damn frustrating and hard in a good way. But then I end up going back and directing one, so we'll see. I, I, there was an episode that we did. We were going to do where we were going to see Booth and Brennan at, as elderly people, really elderly people. And I went and got the prosthetics done, and you can see him as an old man. So I still want to revisit that one. But as far as directing, I mean, I you know, enjoy it, and it's uh, it's definitely a road I, I like to travel, but um, it can be very exhausting. I was really impressed with um, how well it went this season with Booth and Brennan as a couple. And I was wondering, did you guys struggle with like the balance between keeping tension between you and being happy and that kind of stuff, or did it come pretty easily? Or Emily and I have we work very internally with each other. We know like where we're both coming from, and we've always relied on advice from our acting coach, who we've worked with for six, seven seasons now. Ivana Chubbick is a 
well-renowned acting coach who we've kind of uh, tapped into in the first six seasons of the show. Well, we don't work with her as regularly as we would like now, but we have a sense of a knowledge of each other's uh, character so well that we kind of challenge it from our experiences and bring them to life that way. So Emily and I are always there for each other, and we balance it out by being very open and honest with each other what's going on in the day and use it, <laughs> and that helps. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.